Come on, give it up! You're all gonna pay for messing with Grand Gale! Damn it! We're almost at Yarshan and it ends like this? Don't you care you'll die for my promotion? Let's go, everyone! We have to capture all the Grand Galeans alive! If any of them die, we'll have trouble when it's time to negotiate, so be careful! We'll be casting from here. When the one holding the statue takes the defensive, we'll release the spell. But we have to finish casting it first. Please be careful. We're in the clear. Now's our chance to tie him up. Amazing. You restored order with no casualties on either side. The true battle is still ahead, Lord. What's the meaning of this? I heard back to came here. Hey, isn't that Mr. Rufus? What is the PNB doing here? Have you finally stooped to becoming Nailun's lapdogs? Don't jump to conclusions. The PNB is only here to maintain peace. What, by killing our soldiers? Nuh-uh, we just put them to sleep. Sleep? Do you expect me to believe these ravings? Go see for yourself. They're all safe. Hmm. Go take a look. 
Yes, sir. If anything happens to him, of course, it's war. Can't you trust us a little? We'll find out soon. Even if you're telling the truth, what will you do with them? Use them as bargaining chips to negotiate our surrender? It would be folly. Hold on there. We're not using them as hostages or asking for your surrender. Then what are you doing? You're aware we don't have the admonisher or anything to replace it. But we're still a peace maintenance brigade, and I'm dead serious about stopping this war. I will arrange for both sides to talk this out. Do you mean negotiations? Are you serious about this? Captain Rufus, they're all safe. They've been bound, but they're alive. I admit, I'm surprised. You restored order without the admonisher, or a single casualty on our side. Now do you see we're serious? Then what do you want to talk about? Well, it's... About Nalern's independence. Lord Vittorio. We do not wish to continue this invasion. All we ask is that you return control of the lands north of Yarjin to us. Nalan's independence was declared while our country is under attack by Siegvald. Such a declaration is, alas, facilely invalid. But if you take it back by force, it'll start the whole cycle over again. That's why we need to sit down and talk about this. We'll help both sides find some way to come out ahead in all this. Hmm. Unlike the old PMB, I won't just prepare a place to negotiate and stand aside. Instead, I'll work with you to establish peace for everyone. And I need your help to do it, Rufus. Hmm. When did the PMB become such nursemaids? Rufus. This isn't a decision I can make right now. We'll need some time to think it over. I'll deliver your message to the king. Thank you, Rufus. Your thanks are premature. We must first defeat Siegwald. He's been a far greater threat to our country than Naylor. Defeat Master Siegwald? Lord Vittorio, if you interfere in this, you will leave me no choice but to view you as being a conspirator of Siegwald's. We already suspect the Nalern army of ordering Siegwald to massacre our soldiers. Massacre? But we never... Lord Vittorio, we'll have to let this lie for now. As he said, your independence is on shaky ground as a result of Siegwald's rampage. Let's try to avoid confusing the issue further. Of course. But will Grandgale even consider our request? That's what these talks are for, aren't they? Rufus. This is my personal feeling, and mine alone. I fight for the good of Grandgale and its citizens. Thus, if we can find a peaceful solution, I would welcome that. I am pleased with Sir Cryas' proactive stance, unlike the PMB's past policy. We're all on the same continent. I'd like to help. Thank you, Rufus. I can't make any promises, but I will deliver your proposal to my king. After that, it's up to you as a negotiator. All right. Uh, one moment, please. Yes. Please accept this. This medal is given to represent one's honest feelings. That's why... I... I'll do my best to live up to the expectations that come with it. Thank you, Sir Cryas. You have created a ray of hope for Nilun's future.
<laughs> Feel like you've accomplished something, eh? I'm exhausted. Let's all head to the inn and rest. Good work. What's next for us? That officer said they'll be dealing with Ziegfeld first. Deal with Ziegfeld? Are they gonna use the Screeper remote? But it's in that Screeper's stomach. We'd have to find the Screeper first if we want it back, though. About that, I believe I've seen the Platinum Screeper before. Really? This would have been almost 20 years ago. It was around there. So its lair might be somewhere in that region. Why don't we go back to headquarters? The Screeper Research Division might have some material on it. All right. Let's take a rest first. All right. I'll bring the Hypnos Unit Casters back. Welcome back. What we need are a few clues about this Platinum Screeper. I'll try the laboratory. We'll ask amongst the townspeople. Let's get to it. I wonder what I should do. I was once part of a group that is now no more. My compatriots were all devoured by that monster. Foul thing. I call it the Platinum Screeper, and it ate them all whole. I was still young then, and all I could do was flee. But Providence has given me this chance to avenge my comrades. I must insist you let me help destroy it. I wish I had some abilities, too. Didn't I tell you? Fairies have the power to see through time. By connecting the past to the present, we can predict the future to a certain extent, though it's not 100% accurate. Some fairies can read the future better than others, but if I could do it, I would be more help. I guess it would be boring if you could tell the future. I like the way you think.
Hello there. How have you been? I came to tell you what happened to Rufus after he returned to Grand Gale. Rufus! What's wrong, Garrick? Are you really passing along that proposal? Yes. Say what you will, but I'm doing it. Sheesh, what am I gonna do with you? Once your mind is made up, that's it. Your concern has been noted, but as I said, you can't stop me. Do you really think His Majesty will accept? We'll never know unless we try. As long as there's a possibility, I'm willing to take my chances. Cryus of the PMB is banking on the notion as well. And as a citizen of the continent, if a world without war is possible, I'd like to help bring it about. I won't force my views on you, but neither will I yield. Good day. Hey, wait! I told you, I won't be swayed. I'm not trying to. Let me go with you. Garrick, I never thought you'd sympathize with Cryus's viewpoint. Who says I agree with that clown? It's your viewpoint I care about. <laughs> so come on, let's go already. Do you see? Slowly but surely, you're making a difference. Keep it up. Is everyone here? Let's begin. The Platinum Screeper is most often sighted near Yarjan. As expected. Several of these reports were composed in Pothra. Which explains Professor Pranagi's presence. So, what did you find? Now, it was first sighted long before the PMB's creation. An old man in the area had a letter describing something that seems to be a screeper. It was written in Pothra and never deciphered until now. My dear fellow, will you please get to the point? Randall, you're not usually this impatient. But you're right. The point is... I translated the letter, which is really more of a report. Here is an excerpt. The best weapon against Screepers is another Screeper. Thus we experimented with a Screeper to kill its own kind. The newly created Yogged Screeper did indeed attack other Screepers, but we couldn't suppress its instinct to attack humans as well. Our research was halted, and the three prototype Yagd Screepers were frozen, but one of them escaped. Upon investigation, we discovered that it settled in an abandoned facility in the Northern Sea. We secured the entrance so that no civilian could enter. The key is on a specific wavelength so as not to open by mistake. So that Screeper was artificially engineered. Yagd means to hunt. It's a Screeper that hunts Screepers. And we're supposed to beat this thing? What a pain. So if this lock can't be opened by mistake, how are we going to get inside? Well, the key will be easy to reproduce. Really? The Pothradians believe that unseen wavelengths suffuse everything that is. Trees, rocks, souls, sound, all of them have a characteristic wave. The Pothrads learned of the ley line when one of us was able to see its wavelength. It only took someone who was on the same wavelength. The key works on that principle. I have no idea what that means. Don't worry about it, but the key can be duplicated. 
Luckily, the materials needed are also in this letter. How long will it take to reproduce? Not long. I'll have it to you by tomorrow. Thank you. Our patience is rewarded. Do you need to talk to the professor before you rest? Wait! What's the matter? Professor Pranagi's been assaulted at the lab. Some key he just finished was stolen. Oh no! Let's hurry after them! I'm worried about the professor. Someone go check on him. Who should we send? All right, just get that key. There's the blighter! Sir Isaac! Pursuers! Our ambush team will be here soon. You guys stole them. Yes, sir!
Isaac! Curse you! Oh, wait. We're done. There's no reason to keep fighting. Can we have the key? So you're planning to rely on that weapon as well? We don't plan on using that in place of the Admonisher. I mean, we stopped Nalern and Grangale without weapons, right? You're pinning your hopes on one victory. We'll keep on no matter what. As long as we don't give up. The people will see that peace is possible, and war will disappear. Isn't that the kind of world we should be creating? You're determined. You think you can do it? Then go ahead. If I see you falter, I'll find another weapon and stop the wars myself. But for now, I'll come quietly back to HQ. We can do this, right? Of course we can. But we have to believe and never give up. Yeah, you're right! Well, we have the key. So let's go get the remote from that Yogg Screeper. Are these the ones you want to go with? It's your decision, but don't leave me behind. <laughs> 